skip the summons. There has been an argument that in his skipping of nine summons, in his challenging of those summons, he opened himself up to arrest. And let me yes. ask you this with, with, a, with a supplementary question. Your colleagues, the the Congress, Cong your colleagues in the Congress party, Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, they appeared before the ED when the ED called. Why did Mr. Kejriwal not respond to the ED summons? Barkha, that's an irrelevant question. I tell you why. Why is it irrelevant? Different people, different people can adopt different systems. He's a sitting chief minister. He believed that the summons would be used as an excuse to arrest him. He wrote openly, did not avoid any summons. He was available in Delhi all over. He said, Look, I believe that you will arrest me by calling me on the pretext of summons. I am, however, relevant to answer a question. Now, I agree with you that you are the ED, I am the accused. You do not believe my word. Let's, let's start with that. The simplest thing is to do what you did on the day you arrested him. To go there and record. Nobody can stop the ED from going to your house and doing the same thing. You did not do any of that. And let me also tell you that the fact that I may have made a mistake of going to seek anticipatory bail. I'm not saying I made a mistake. I'm just giving you an example. That cannot be a ground of arrest. Hmm. Under Section 19 of this PMLA and the statements, under, you must have an independent ground of arrest. It can't be. That Barkha that made the mistake of going to a court, she didn't get relief. Therefore, I become a basis for arresting. That's not the way the law works. But do you, do, you, do, you, do you believe that looking back, it was a mistake to not respond to the ED summons? That's not the ground of arrest. That's not the basis of arrest. They never arrested me for that. They arrested when he went to court to seek anticipatory bail, did not get it. Next day, they landed up. and uh, Sorry, same day, perhaps, they landed up and they arrested without a statement. The ground of arrest. A separate case is going on Barkha for evading summons. Was, was it a political mistake? They have not arrested for that case. Was it a political mistake even if it was not a legal mistake? Look at how the others have responded. Sharad Pawar writes a letter to the ED. I'll come when you want me to. Rahul Gandhi spends hours at the ED headquarters answering whatever questions. None of them got arrested. I am not at liberty to disclose what are obvious facts. There is a difference in the approach of the ED to certain summons. It was very clear that for many months there was an attempt to arrest him. He believed that he's entitled as an accused. See, this is not part of criminal law. You are entitled technically to tell the prosecution. Sorry, I'll not speak. I'll not give an answer. Sorry, I won't come for the summons. Hmm. Whatever powers you have, that can't be the basis of arrest. Arrest must be, and I must tell you one more thing. Let us forget this technicality. Do you know that at the end of the day, the entire basis of arrest is what? Just give me two minutes. It sounds like technical, but three people whose statements are recorded. All three of them have varyingly given six, five or four statements not implicating me at all. Not a word. After the third, fourth or fifth statement, two of the three are arrested. Their names are Raghav Reddy and uh, Sarath Reddy. Third fellow is the father of Raghav Reddy. After arrest in those two cases, they give further statements, four of them, three of them, again not implicating Arvind Kejriwal. This statement span one year, even pre-arrest and post-arrest. Then finally, when the water goes over their head and obviously they are under a lot of pressure, they are promised bail. This is some kind of leveraging of the worst kind. On the promise of bail, they give a statement. First statement, first time after six, seven contradictory statements. That statement also has nothing. It has a sentence saying, A told me, A told B to carry money to C. Nobody says it delivered to Kejriwal, nothing. On that, they get bail on back pain, by the way. In one case, the man says, I've got back pain. The AC gets him and says, Okay, give him bail. Hmm. Then they get pardon. On one out of ten statements, six statements, eight statements. Is this And then, one of them, the father of this uh, Raghav, joins the BJP, is fighting the election. The other fellow, Sarat Reddy, gives electoral bonds to the ruling party. Now, two I points. Mean, not, I want only, to not, not only to the ruling party, but 50 crores in a single day after he Singa. turns it over. Exactly. Yes. Now, the point is, see, are we eating grass here or are we talking technicality or are we living in the real world? Are we smelling the coffee? You have Is this fair prosecution? See, the old law and the current law is the same. If the prosecution finds anything exculpatory or in your favor, it is obliged to disclose it. If I find something incriminating about myself, I don't have to disclose it. 
Let's the prosecution little, has to. Let's speak a little bit about the Sankaradi because the so just one second, one second, one second more. Okay, okay, one second okay, more. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of these statements are in favor. A direct question is asked in Arvind Kejriwal. Do this? They say no. This bunch of statements is by a ridiculous concept put by this ED in a category called not relied upon document. Not relied upon document means they don't go to the court and the accuser doesn't see them till much later. They are now available. They rely on the last statement after six, seven statements, including directly exculpatory or impliedly exculpatory statements, all are ignored. So why should your last statement be the correct statement, Barkha? Why could you not but, be lying in the last statement after you've been arrested and put to pressure and after your father has joined the BJP and after electoral bonds have been purchased? Why do your okay. first seven statements be ignored? Let's talk about 